Um, I'm going to try and not ramble. But I probably won't succeed at it. Um, this is a, a pretty tough video to make. Um, but I think that it's important. Um, I think it's important to share stuff like this. Just so that... Honestly, so that other people can know that they're uh, not alone in suffering and, and mourning and that kind of stuff. Um, you, know, it's, uh, I, you, you never know how to start off videos like this, so um, yeah, I'm just going to start talking. Um, also, I wanted to let y'all know that I am going to disable comments on uh, this video because I just want to protect our hearts. Uh, I know that 99% of you are kind people who are sympathetic and would understand. Um, and I'll just preemptively say I appreciate the kind comments that you are going to leave. Um, but we have to really protect our hearts from, honestly, evil people who um, just want to hurt others. Um, and so those are going to be disabled. But if you would like to... Um, reach out on Twitter or Instagram or whatever, you can do so. Um, I'm not telling you all this for a response or a reaction. I'm telling you this um, for other reasons that I'll get into. But um, I know y'all are like, dude, just l tell us what happened. Um, so on Tuesday, today is Friday. On Tuesday, I drove, I was driving six hours down um, to Georgia for my grandfather's funeral um, and uh, the funeral was going to be on Wednesday and so I drove down um, got there and was with family and everything um, obviously and then at about 2 or 3 actually probably closer to maybe 4 p.m. Um, my wife texted me and um, just to keep things short, said that she was on the way to the hospital because she um, was pretty sure that she was having a miscarriage. Um, for those of you who don't know what that means or because of language barriers, uh, that means that she was pregnant and um, that things just didn't work out. Um, and so she was on the way to the hospital to check on things. Um, obviously, I was six hours away and had just driven six hours. And there was no way for me um, to be present physically in that situation. Um, and so she got to the hospital and was there for probably six hours just waiting for things like tests and whatnot um and so at about 11 o'clock or so uh they told her that she was going to have to be rushed into emergency surgery to uh save herself so um the baby was already gone um now, the goal was to make sure that they could save her. Um, and so they rushed her into surgery. And um, at about 2.30 in the morning, again, I am still six hours away um, trying to process stuff and preparing to drive back safely. Um, and <clears throat> they had surgery and everything went as well as it could. Um, my wife is okay. She's healing. Uh, we have doctor's visits and stuff just to make sure that um, things heal up and, and go well in regards to recovery. Um, but obviously, like I said, our baby is 
now gone. Um, thankfully, in these types of situations, things could happen uh, that would prevent you from having kids again. Um, and I'm just thankful that the Lord protected uh, Rachel so that we have the possibility to hopefully have another kid one day. Um, but I wanted to post this video just to let you guys know um, I'm going to be taking some days off, obviously, uh, to help my wife recover. Um, and this is already, she's already in the recovery process. So I've already taken some time off and I'm going to continue to take off a little bit more. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know that so that you know where I am, but also, um, man, it just made me like, obviously losing my grandfather was hard enough. And whenever you lose somebody close to you, it makes you kind of take a step back and reevaluate what's important. And I think that a lot of the world right now has a wrong view on what's important. Um, and so obviously it, w it was hard losing him and going down there to, to celebrate his life, um, but also to, to mourn the loss. And then to feel completely hopeless and helpless in regards to me being there for my wife in the darkest day of her life really puts things into perspective of what is important. And I really want to encourage everyone who's watching this um, to kind of reevaluate where you spend your time, where you, uh, what you give your mental capacity to, um, and just the people that you pursue. I, I find that I waste so much time on people that I don't need to on screen names on Instagram that I talk to or um, those sorts of things. And like, yeah, in, in my career, it is important to um, interact and involve myself with those who support me um, because I appreciate you guys and I love you guys. But y'all should never, ever come before my family. And a lot of times I put work and I put money um, those kind of go hand in hand. Um, I put work and I put money and I put followers and views and all that kind of stuff in front of investing in my wife and my son, Caleb. And this whole situation has just helped me kind of reevaluate stuff. Like, like I said, you guys are important. I don't say that lightly, but you're not as important as my wife and you're not as important as my son. Um, and I don't know, it's, it's kind of a weird thing to try and process. It's a very weird thing to try and process. Um, not only the hurt from the loss of our future child, but also the hurt from feeling helpless and physically distant from my wife in a time where she needed me. 
And like, obviously I couldn't help that. Like you, there's no knowing this kind of stuff. So I'm not going to beat myself up over that. And I would encourage you guys as well as you go through things in life, like there's no benefit in beating yourself up over situations. Um, but I cannot tell you guys how thankful I am for our church and um, the people in our lives who showed up when I was gone um, and continue to show up. We had somebody come and watch Caleb and stay at the house while Rachel was getting surgery. And um, friends bring so much food <laughs> Um, and come and watch Caleb and, and, and just help in ways that like family should help when they aren't blood, but they're kingdom family. Um, and like, it, it's so easy to think about how different things would have been if we didn't have our church family. Um, because honestly, if Rachel hadn't gone to the hospital, then she wouldn't be here. Um, and just to let you guys know, like she's recovering well, as well as you can. Uh, I think that the, the biggest recovery in situations like this is going to be mental recovery, um, mourning the loss of a baby that we were excited about um, but never got the opportunity to meet. <sighs> and so, yeah, I, I'm, I don't have much else to say. I just really want to encourage you guys. Like, man, we, we waste so much time on people that just don't matter. And when I say, when I say that, I don't mean that they don't matter as human beings. I mean that someone on the Insta someone online in the middle of nowhere, Idaho, telling me that they disagree with me doesn't deserve my time before my family and before people that I'm investing in. Um, and so often we just like let our minds be filled with fake arguments between like people and just like just so much stuff that doesn't matter doesn't matter we fill our minds with gossip we fill our minds with wanting to cancel people and see people fail we fill our minds with so many things that just don't matter and we put them before the things and the people in our lives that really do matter I want to encourage you guys to reevaluate your time, your mental capacity, and all of that kind of stuff, and pursue people that you love, that you care about, be kind to people that you disagree with. Yeah. Um, that's it. I should be back in a couple of days. Um, cause honestly, it'll be good for me to work and not distract myself. Cause I don't think it's good to distract yourself or numb the things that you're going through. I think it's really important to process things, especially as men. It's not good to just suffocate things down inside of you because then they blow up later on as you build up that pressure. Um, but work will be a good thing for me to do. Um, so I'll be back in a couple of days. I love all of you. I'm grateful for your support. And I really, really just want to challenge you to reevaluate and invest in people that you care about and people that care about you. And just love people that you disagree with because they're still humans and you have no idea what they're going through. 
and be forgiving to people that might not know who what you're going who might not know what you're going through as well. Yeah. Um that's it. Grateful for you guys. Grateful for your support. Grateful for the comments that I know you really want to leave. But again, we're just trying to protect our hearts from people who don't want to. See you guys soon.